Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of SPM Done What's Next series. I'm your host, Chen Yu. If you haven't watched the previous episode, please click the top right corner here to refer to the previous episode. If you're coming from Spotify, do check out the previous audio episode where I featured Jesse and Anthony to talk about the STPM or commonly known as Form 6, one of the preview programs available in Malaysia. Disclaimer again before we begin. All opinions expressed on this platform are only based on personal views and does not reflect any stance from this platform or any organization. In the previous episodes, we already covered A-Levels and Form 6 or SDPM, the two longest pre-U programs in terms of its duration. In this episode, it's going to be about matriculacy, a Malaysian matriculation program. This would be the most common option for juniors to choose among all pre-university programs because it's the shortest in terms of duration and it's not as costly as compared to A-levels or other programs offered by private institutions. So, despite of this, like a lot of people would choose matriculation, not many of them can be shortlisted for this program, sadly, due to a lot of reasons. We'll look into the details of the program shortly. Without further ado, let us welcome our guest for today's episode, Sriram. Hi, Sriram. Hello, Dachanyi. Well, I'm Sriram. I'm 19 this year. I'm current, technically I'm 18. I'm turning 19 in December. I just recently finished my studies in Kedah Matriculation College. Okay. Shiram, could you share your SPM results for the credibility of the information shared in today's podcast? Sure. Well, my SPM results are 4A+, 3As, and 2Bs. Okay. We'll proceed to the first question about matriculacy. In terms of matriculacy or matrix, I think most of our juniors know that it's kind of a gamble in terms of requirements needed to be shortlisted for this program. Because sometimes you reach the academy requirements, but sadly you did not, uh, you're not being shortlisted, or you get outstanding achievements in your co-curriculum and ended up not getting shortlisted as well. So, Sriyam, are you aware of what are the academic and co-curricular requirements needed to fulfill in order to take metrics, and how to check your eligibility to enroll in this program? Well, yes, I do agree that, you know, it's like really hard to understand the way the system they use to call us in. But like the way we know, it's like uh, you got to have at least five credits, at least for your results, SPM. But from the people I know around like metrics, most of them at least have like five A's. So I guess that's like a starting point. And your Coco results have to be A, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. For your eligibility, you can refer to the metrics website. I think it has all the information you need there. And also, yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, so folks, if you want to check the eligibility for matriculation, I'm speaking for the juniors who have not taken SPM because at this current time period, most of our juniors who got the offer has already enrolled into this program, so congratulations for that. If you want to refer to the details of matriculation program, please click the link down below in the description box. Okay. So, 
In terms of eligibility, right, there's something we call Rayu. So in case, just in case you're like not being shortlisted in this program, despite having the certain requirements they need to enroll in this program, you can choose to Ryu. So there's like a section of Ryu button there for you to Ryu, or you can choose to write a letter to a certain institution or matriculation college or something, but it needs a certain process. So if you want to refer to the details, do refer to your school teachers for that. I believe they have much more information to share to you if you want to take a matriculation program by Ryu. Okay. Among all pre-university programs, Matrix is the shortest duration of the model, which is approximately 10 months. And it's very different compared to A-levels and SDPM, which is around 1.5 years for standard A-levels program and 2 years for SDPM or Form 6. So, Sriram, in terms of the subjects, because as we covered in the previous episodes, A-Levels has a lot of subjects, as well as STPM. So what are the subjects that are offered in this program and which subjects did you take? Well, there's like, okay, metrics, there's like five programs. So there's one engineering, it's like a totally separate campus. And then you have like another four, which is um, your science higher, which I assume is life science. And then there's physical science, there's computer science, and there's also accounting. So I got life science, science Hayat. Still confused the name. <laughs> okay. Um, I have my subjects bio, chemistry, physics, and maths. So for reference, your physical science would be physics, chemistry, maths, and computer science. And your computer science would be bio, chemistry, maths, and computer science. I see. So, about yes. the other two programs, is about accounting and professional accounting, right? Yeah, I assume so. Yeah, but since Shriam is a life sciences student, I assume that he only knows about more of the science stream subjects. So if you're a junior who wants to pursue subjects from the art stream program, you can refer to the picture here, shown in the video. You can pause a few seconds to check it out. Okay. Also, there's like another extra subject as well. Mm -hmm. There's like extra English, moral, pengajian arm, and also co curriculum. I see. So yeah, are uh, they are compulsory, right? Yeah, you, it's compulsory, but it's not included in your band. It's not included in your CGPA. Even English. Yeah, I mean English. It's like it's included, but it's not like participating in your CGPA, you know? Like, uh, I see. It's a separate grading. Yeah, separate yeah, grading. I see. Yeah. Okay, so in terms of pengajaran am and moral, it's like a compulsory subject to take, right? And it's also not included in the gradings. Mm. Nope. I see. It, it is, but it's like, it is included. Like, everything is included, but it's just, like, I probably, it probably doesn't matter much, I think. I see. Okay. Yeah. Life sciences student taking four subjects, I think. Yeah. Okay, four subjects. Okay, so in A levels and SDPM, in which we already covered that in the previous episodes, the level of difficulty are similar in terms of A levels and SDPM, and it's way above SPM level. So, what do you think about the level of difficulty of matrix as compared to? SPM, I heard that it's not as difficult as you would see. Some similar parts in the metric syllabus. Yeah, so I think I think metrics is like a little bit better than SPM because the subjects that you learn, the topics is all like refreshed from your form five syllabus. And it's like almost interconnecting, even though they branch out a lot more, but still it, you kind of get the idea of it. The thing with um, this, like, less subjects is because um, since you have, like, four subjects, right, so you tend to repeat your subjects every single day. So, like, it gets hectic for your schedule because you got to complete the homeworks for every four homeworks every okay. single night. Uh -huh. And, yeah, it's easy to get depression. <laughs> As compared to SVM, I mean, like, approximately 9, 10, 11, or even 12 subjects we have to take. But... Yeah. Okay, there's this thing about having lesser subjects. Okay, lesser subjects is a good thing and a bad thing. 
the good thing is you get to focus yeah. on the things you like, like the subjects that you really need to focus on. But the bad thing is, when assignments and exams crash together, you know what that means. It's hell. Right, Sriram? Yeah. It's hell. It's totally hell. <laughs> but we'll discuss about the details of that really shortly because, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so the level of difficulty is here. It's like a slightly above SPM level, right, Shiram? Yeah, slightly above, yeah. You won't say it's easy, right? Because it's, there is still yeah, a level not, of difficulty here. Yeah, it's not easy, but um, the more you study it, it's like it, the easier it gets. Mm -hmm. It's like understanding it is harder, but once you get the gist of it, it's like you're fine. I see. So this is the level of difficulty you would expect if you take matriculation. Okay, folks, before we continue this session, it's time for a break. We'll be playing a song called New Rules by Dua Lipa. <laughs> Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. Too many times, too many times. My love, it makes me feel like nobody else, nobody else. Don't pick up the phone, you know he's only calling cause he's drunk and alone Two, don't let him in, you have to kick him out again Three, don't be his friend, you know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning And if you're under him, you ain't getting over him I got no rules, I count him Forwards, but he keeps pulling me backwards No way to turn, no way. No way to turn. No. Now I'm standing back from it I finally see the pattern I never love I never love He doesn't love me So I tell myself I tell myself I do, I do, I do One, don't pick up the phone You know he's only calling Cause he's drunk and alone Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, Sri Young. Let's continue our podcast today. Hello. Now, That's this amazing. part will be something more personal. Some people chose metrics because of its short duration, some because of its fees, and some wanted to get a degree in top local universities in Malaysia. 
So how about you, Shriram, and why did you decide to take metrics in the first place? So when I applied for metrics, I wasn't expecting much. But when I got it, I was like, you know what, let me just give it a try. I just like try it. So before this, my choices were AIMS. So I was going to go for a foundation in AIMS. But then I compared it and I was like, metrics is like a bit better, like way better to go for, to try. So I just dived deeper into that. And then I tried it for a week and it was like, it was fun. <clears throat> it was fun. And then um, later on, you realize that they actually pay you. They pay you, I think, 150 just to be there per month. So Just an allowance? <laughs> allowance, yeah. I like to consider it flex, like, it's like, I, I'm getting paid to be there, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's just stupid, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's it's fine. Um, I would say, that's not really a reason, it's just I want to try this. And UP results will come out later after metrics, so it's like, I went for this first, yeah. I see. So, how about, like, have you ever considered of... <laughs> other pathways or you were just solely wanted to get like a shorter track compared to A-levels or SDPM or um, what kind of degree you want to pursue if you want to take metrics? Yeah, sort of because of its short duration, like you, you finish faster. Mm -hmm. So like for foundation, you finish in August or something, right? But we finished in late May. So mm -hmm. I guess more free time for ourselves to like sharpen our skills or something. Yeah. So I heard you want to take dentistry in local university. Yes. Ah, so I think that's how a reason you want to take up metrics. Yeah, because you know dentistry is like a pretty expensive course and it's better if you take it in a government place. Um, dentistry is, yeah, it's part of my passion. Mm -hmm. um, it's either dentistry or medicine, I would say, between mm -hmm. those two. I see, so you chose metrics. Because um, in terms yeah. of top local universities, because they prioritize metrics students first before Form 6 students, right? Yes. yes. Yep. And that's the privilege or the advantage you would have if you join metrics. Okay, yep. then the final part, this is the final part before we end this podcast. Shriram, in your 10 months time in metrics, right? How was your experience in general? You can talk about your core curriculum, <laughs> or you can talk about how hectic was your assignments and exams in general, your friend circles, or any interesting things you want to share. Yep, so I would say to summarize it, it would basically be like, it's metrics is like a fun and stressful adventure. When it's fun, it's like really fun. When it's stressful, it's like really stressful. It's just like curving all together. It's like, it's really bad. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, so for example, um, in terms of my like fun things, um, we did like a color run thing for, our, for my class. Mm -hmm. Like, so for example, our Coco, every class you have to like host an activity to let others join so that you get points for your co curriculum. Mm -hmm. So for our class, we decided to go big and we went for a color run. So this project is like really big because you got to prepare the clothes, the tires, the like the things, your spray paint and all those things. And like you had to book some, th some things from your college. So it was really stressful for us as a whole for that one month. And you know, classing with the academic stuff, you know, it's really, it gets really tough. Mm -hmm. You know, like coming back from what I said just, just now, like the four subjects thing, it really like hits you a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we go to assignments. Yeah. <clears throat> So one way to summarize assignments, like it's hell. It's basically like Niraka, hell. <laughs> okay. How so? So for yeah, so for our first sem, it actually went well. First sem it was like nice. They gave it like accord accordingly. So like it's like it's pretty cool. The second sem, I assume because of like the quarter month and all that, so they had to squish it in a bit. So we had three assignments in like given in one week. And yeah, so the the thing with assignments, the deal is actually pretty okay. It's like you have like around like ten days to complete it, mm -hmm. but with certain lectures, especially mine, unfortunately, okay. she asked like they asked for um like 
like you have to pass it up you have to pass up your draft in like three or four days oh so so yeah, that so applies example, to like, every like, single assignment among those three yeah i think um two i think two two of them two or three of them See. Yeah, I think basically I think most of it yeah most of it <laughs> okay <laughs> so it was it was tough because you gotta complete the assignments all together and then uh, plus with your homeworks and all that you gotta finish your homeworks you gotta do the assignment you gotta submit all of this like it's really it gets to you like I stayed I stayed awake for like a whole day with mm-hmm. coffee three cans of coffee I'm still Damn. amazed <laughs> Damn. yeah but <laughs> I see. It was really bad. It was really like it was saddening. I was like, "What is my life right now?" <laughs> <laughs> Too sad. Three cans of coffee just for assignments, and nothing yeah. else. Yeah, and the fact that I submitted my drafts right, and my lecturer said like there are some mistakes with it as well, so I gotta like brush redo it, it. Be complete. Yeah, I gotta redo it. It's like it's a bit. It's like so underwhelming, you know. <laughs> I see. I mean, like, it's the same for foundation. Okay, I'm not going to spoil too much about foundation. It's for the coming episode, but just a little gist of it because it's quite similar compared to metrics. We also have this coursework thing. Uh, our split is fifty fifty, and what about metrics? Oh yeah. Okay. So coursework is like, so it's a hundred percent. Your mm-hmm. coursework is sixty percent. Your exam is forty percent. Mm-hmm. So in the sixty percent of your coursework, there's like fifteen uh, percent for assignment, twenty five percent for your practical test, and twenty percent for your UPS. UPS is basically your like midterm. It's it's like there's three tests throughout your sem throughout your sem. So each subject you have three tests. I see. So it's like a short test, like around one yeah, week or like- two. Yeah, it's like every three weeks around around there. Yeah, for us it was online. So for us it was online. Um, but some subjects like computer science they had to do it face to face. So it really depends on your lectures, I guess. I see. Speaking about practical tests, uh, do you mean like, uh, the experiments you conduct in biology, chemistry, and physics? Yeah, so like we have like our separate subject amali for each subject, so we gotta do it like every single week, and basically for your practical test they will choose one of it and they will give it to you, mm-hmm. but the catch here is that most probably we will know what uh, what like what amali is it because your lecturers um, will let you in on it. I see, so hmm, practical tests assignments. Then core curriculum you mentioned about the color run, and anything you want to add in terms of your experience, like your friend group, your social group, and stuff. Okay, yeah. So it's like my friend group. I'm pretty sure we have like a reputation of like we have like the guts. Like they basically know our faces already at this point. Okay. It's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like in school where the discipline teacher knows your face. It means that you are bad. Like you are like really bad. <laughs> But it's not bad because like we basically hang out a lot because you know stress and all, so we gotta like chill. Mm-hmm. But um, so the thing with KMK is that you can't um, like genders cannot mix together, especially at night. So what we do is sometimes like around ten o'clock we just sit around the table and just talk, chat for a while. Mm-hmm. There's this one time we went to the Kulia area, day one Kulia. Mm-hmm. Because there's a vending machine there, so we went there to like get something like coffee or something to talk to each other, I guess. And there's a guard who came. So if the guard saw us, basically like we are dead. We're dead. We're cancelled. Like okay. you, you, you're like done. <laughs> you're like okay. blacklisted. So what so happened? what we did like all, yeah, like all twelve of us, we just ran up to the there's like a second level for it. We ran up and we hid there for like around thirty minutes just for the guard to go away. <laughs> it was, you know, you have like the Mission Impossible music just playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I would advise yeah definitely not to do that. It's a bad example. Bad. <laughs> You're not yeah. encouraged to do this. It's just a simple story or experience. Shared by Shuyao. <laughs> you are not encouraged to do this. It's a bad example. Please don't follow this. <laughs> yeah, 
And also, you know, like um, like other classes, they host like cocoa activities, right? So we mm -hmm. get to join those activities as like friend groups, you know. So it, it's kind of like very nice. It's really good for friendships. Like, yeah, metrics is like pretty fun in a way. See. Oh, mm -hmm. I have another thing. Yeah. So I don't want to. I don't want to throw sh at KMK or something. Okay. But the water issue. Ah. Uh... Slango issue. <laughs> Slango issue as well. Do tell yeah, about it. The water issue. Yeah, it's it's really bad. But it's so confusing because the girls' block, like, um, for example, so like we have three blocks block A, B, C. A is for the boys, B and C is for the girls. Mm -hmm. So, for whatever reason, B and C is like always good. You always have water there. Sometimes B won't have water, but like most of the time, B and C has water. But for some reason, block A, you just like every like one week or two weeks, like every two or three days, there will just be no water. Okay. And it's insane. Like it's like sometimes it's like during peak hours there's no water. Sometimes it's just straight up no water. Mm -hmm. So we gotta like go down to the center area to like sort of wash ourselves. It's so bad, like it's really bad. <laughs> okay. So, you know, we have like a lecture toilet in a separate block, which uh -huh. is near to our guys' block. Uh -huh. So, every now and then, we have to like, go there and just to clean ourselves. It's really bad. And like, you know, you have like, people, lecturers like, passing by and they can see us, you know, it's like... Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I see. I think it's something, oh. they say it's, yeah, something wrong with the piping problem, but yeah, I don't know. Because the water tank is right beside us, like... We should be getting water first, not the girls, but... Instead, you guys did not get water. Where's my water? Yeah. <laughs> so there's yeah. a lot of memes, I can confirm, coming from K and yeah. K. Yeah. Yeah, comparing to Slango, yes. Okay, so there's this water issue. It does not apply to every college, but it depends. <laughs> it's another fun thing. Yeah for Shri Ram during his 10 months of matriculation. Okay, so final thing, final thing. Any tips you want to give to our juniors who are currently enrolled in matriculation? Yes, so I think the best thing you can do, like the first thing you should do is socialize. If you're going to metrics with your friend, make sure you and your friend don't just stick together. Make sure you're like actually like talk to people. Even if you're alone, make sure you start a conversation with people even if it's like outside your comfort zone just make sure you make a conversation like be close to them because it really helps you a lot in your studies and all that like assignments wise you can share ideas and like make your make yourself better basically it's like metrics is way more cheerful with friends so i would recommend just doing that also lectures mm -hmm. since lectures they basically have a control of your 60 percent coursework Mm -hmm. So, if you have like a bad reputation with them, you're gone. Like you're basically dead. You, you can't. You know. Okay, reputation <laughs> is important in metrics, juniors. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say yeah, it's fine. Um, just make sure to participate in like uh, more activities, like national level competitions, and also there's like a thing like PAL leader, this like peer assisting thing. Is I forgot what it's called, but. Basically, you get to like teach others, like you get to mm. teach students. So joining that will give you like a pretty big advantage like, for your interviews now. I see. Anything else you want to add? Mm, not that I can think of. I think yeah, that's basically. I see. All of it. So that is it. Pretty much of a guide for metrics, a guide to survive in metrics in full. <laughs> Shared by Shri yes. Ram. And that's it. So dear juniors who are currently enrolled in matriculation, do take note of what they said. Or for juniors who are still in secondary school, you can take this as a reference in case you want to join matriculacy in the future. Okay. Alright folks, this is the end of this podcast. Do hit the like and subscribe button if you like this session. The audio episode will be uploaded to Spotify within the next 48 hours. If you're coming from Spotify after this audio episode is uploaded, do follow this podcast and share it to your friends and family. Alright folks, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye.